Grade 5, welcome to your watercolor mission. You're going to try out a bunch of different watercolor techniques and then you're going to use them to create an amazing painting. You're going to need your watercolor paper divided into 10 sections, a brush, some water, your paint palette of course, some masking tape, some crayons, some um, paper towel and some salt. We're going to start with what's called an opaque wash. The first thing you're going to do is make sure you've put your brush in clean water. Then you're going to load it up with lots of paint, making sure there's more paint on your brush than water, and then paint it on the surface of the paper. It should give you a nice solid color, like this beautiful blue. A transparent wash is very similar to an opaque wash, except that this time you're going to have more water on your brush than you have paint so that when you paint it onto the surface of the paper, it's going to be clear or see-through. That's what makes it transparent. Our next technique is glaze, and it's going to take the last two techniques and put them together. So you're going to start out with an opaque wash. It doesn't matter what color you use, pick one of your favorites. Just make sure there's more paint on your brush than there is water. Paint half of your, your section with a nice solid color. Um, and then through the magic of art teachers, we make that dry. Then we're gonna make a transparent wash and we're gonna paint that over top so that you can see the green coming through the blue. And that gives you your glaze effect. The next technique we're gonna use is masking tape resist. So of course, the first thing we're gonna need is some masking tape. Rip it or cut it into little pieces and place it down wherever you would like on that section of your watercolor paper. Just make sure the edges are, are firmly placed on the paper. The tape works as a resist um, so that it doesn't let the paint get onto the paper in those sections. It resists it or it masks the paper from the paint. So paint right over top of it. Make sure you get um, in and around all the tape. And then once that dries, very carefully peel the tape off. I find that if you sort of pull the tape on a slight angle, it's much less likely to tear the paper. The longer it's been on the paper, the harder it is to get off, I will tell you that. Our next technique is called bleeding, and it's not nearly as terrifying as it sounds. The first thing you're going to do with clean water is paint an area on your paper. Then you are going to make sure you get some nice color on your brush and very lightly you're just going to add it to the water and let it sort of run all over that space. Then wash your brush, get a new color and dab that color into the wet spaces on your paper as well and just watch the magic happen. You can get some really beautiful sunset techniques this way. We're going to do a crayon resist right now. It's a lot of fun especially if you use a white crayon. I'm going to start by drawing something on my paper. You don't know what it is now but you'll find out soon enough what it is. I'm also going to use a colored crayon so you can see what happens when you use color with this technique. Then I'm going to load up my brush with paint and simply paint over top of my drawing and voila, it magically appears where I drew with the white crayon. Believe it or not, our next technique involves salt, regular old table salt. The first thing you're going to do is paint a section of your paper and while it's still very wet, you're going to take a little bit of salt, put it in your hand, and then sprinkle it over top of the color and watch what happens as the colors change as it dries. Our next technique is almost everybody's favorite, but it's also the messiest, so I would cover the other areas of your paper before you start this. Make sure your brush is nice and wet, add some paint on, and then you're going to splatter it. <clears throat> you can do this by tapping the brush on your finger or shaking the brush over the paper. Just try to keep the paint on your paper and not on you or anybody else around you. Our next technique is called dry brush. And it's sort of exactly what it sounds. You're gonna start by loading up your paintbrush with paint, but then you're gonna dry your brush with a paper towel to get rid of most of the moisture. Then using quick strokes on your paper, flicking your wrist up, you're going to paint these strokes on the paper. They look really great if you're painting grass or a field or something like that. Go ahead and change the color and try it with a different color. There you go. Finally, our last technique is the tissue pickup technique. Uh, I really like this one because it adds lots of texture to your work. So start by painting some nice wet colors on your paper. 
Uh, you can, I'm going to use two different colors this time and let them bleed into each other. Then I'm going to crumple up a paper towel and just simply dab. Look at the cool textures you get. Once you've completed your watercolor mission, collect your badge from me. Then it's time to put these techniques to work in a real painting. I can't wait to see what you do.